With the finale of Breaking Bad coming along, um, many people are very excited, including the scientists who work on, worked on the show to help make sure that it was scientifically accurate. But is Walter White scientifically accurate? He often appears as the smartest man in the room. And that's because of expert writing and direction on uh, Vince Gilligan's part. Mm -hmm. uh, but also due to Dr. Donna Nelson. She's a professor from the University of Oklahoma. Yes. And halfway through Breaking Bad's first season, uh, Vince Gilligan expressed a desire to be like really scientifically accurate and really get the science for the show down right. Well, it's a balance, you know? I mean, it, it drive, I know it drives people in the scientific community crazy when things are just wrong. Like, so they had someone on the show, but they can't get everything just so, because then it kind of, well, it needs, to have, it needs to be a TV show. It needs to be entertaining, too. And you need to not teach everyone how to make meth. Yeah, well, that's... that's kind of important. Well, he's been working with DEA people. Yeah. Not Hank. Not to, Hank. Can't um, work with Hank anymore. Make sure. Oh, 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 don't, <laughs> too soon. Too soon. To make sure that uh, people well, they aren't teaching people to cook meth essentially, but they do get a lot of things right. Like they had to ask, well, how much meth could thirty gallons of methylamine make? And well, usually when they're working in the lab, but they're dealing with grams, you know. So it's just like, well, we'll go to one gallon, thirty gallons. It's just. What they got was right, but uh, with the reducing agent, which is aluminum mercury, which they chose for the sole purpose of being able to be pronounced easily by the actors. There's, there's a number. I mean, they, they'd probably go with, you know, whatever is the most efficient or the most cost efficient or something like that. But no, just went with the one that was easiest. Whatever to say. Jesse can pronounce easiest. So that's that's one they went with. Um, one thing she pointed out was that there's no way there would be blue meth. At all. Yeah, it's kind of disappointing. Well, but I get it. That was the, the gimmick of the show. It's but. gonna, it needs to be clear crystal. It would be impossible for it to be blue. But the checks are really disappointed. She says they've got it all right, or mostly right. Like when, when Walter explains, well, when he explained things to his class about like how certain reactions work, um, those were right. And when he explained to Gus, like, this is why you need me, I know about this kind of carbon, that was all right. But if you watch the, Myth, uh, the Mythbusters, Mythbusters special, the show got a lot of things wrong. Like for instance, spoilers for the first and second episodes, they were dissolving um, a body in the hydrofluoric acid mm -hmm. and it ate through the tub and it ate through the floor and there's just this red glop in the middle. It was and gross. It's super gross, but that, they tried that and it did not eat through the tub or the tile. It kind of made the drywall mushy mm. and it made the pork substitute for human flesh kind of mushy, but that's, it didn't. It's not good television. It didn't do it. Well, then they decided to, of course, Mythbusters it up, and they just, they. Make it work. Yeah, so instead of two gallons of hydrofluoric acid, they used six gallons of sulfuric acid and a mystery sauce mix, because they don't, again, they're not in the business of telling us how to dissolve bodies, and it did torn, turn the pork into a mushy pink goo, but it, again, did not destroy the bathtub. So. The crux of that episode, That's not so accurate. And then, of course, they had uh, Walt throwing the mercury fulminate as, um, well, he threw it and it exploded. Bang, yeah. And it blew, like, the air conditioners out the window and all that. They tried that with the 50 grams of, of mer mer mercury fulminate. Did not work. They exploded a pumpkin, but, like, not a whole apartment. So they myth busted it up, mm -hmm. 250 grams. They it did explode the room, but it also exploded Robot Walt and Tuco and everyone, so it would have killed everyone. Tuco was not in that room. Yes, he was. So. Was he? Yes, he was. They were seeing him. No, I thought, oh, yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. Yeah, I of course I'm right. That out. So anyway, no, we're not. This is live. <laughs> so anyway, according to the chemistry point of view, it's pretty good, but there are some holes in some of the plot devices early on, including those two. For me, it's just a relief to see good science on a chalkboard in the background. Behind him? Yeah. How so would you often, so often it's just like gibberish equations and formulas that don't make sense. Yeah. But here, Dr. Donna herself. Donna's the one who wrote those equations. Wrote the equations so they, on the board they for they them. So they copied them exactly. That's good television. I yeah? like that. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. I didn't ask to co-host a show with the lamest dude I know, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> I was trying to.